So on to my last Premier League jersey that I own. And honestly, that's the one that I like best. The look of it is the best uh, from the colors and it's the Tottenham one. And yeah, getting to White Hart Lane in London, at least in the early 2000s, that was quite the hike. And <laughs> what I liked in London back then is that wherever you go, take the subway from the from city center, get out and you go somewhere and there are people from all other nations living. And for me, getting out to White Hart Lane, uh, this was kind of, you know, uh, it was almost like I've got an African neighborhood a little bit. It was very weird. I mean, the stadium is far up north. I hope the connection there is better now, but I know I got from the tube and then I actually walked there. That was the time because I didn't want to figure out the bus system at that time. And then uh, I realized it was a very long walk and I bought this big city map of London, a book that thick. And I went to London two times more and that was the biggest thing that I got from there. And I got this beautiful Adidas shirt, 2001-2002. I love this shirt. And what I love is it has the classic Halston sponsor. That's the best thing about this shirt. For me, Tottenham and Halston goes together like um, what, what, what other sponsors want the combinations. Bayern, Munich and Opel uh, is a classic. Then uh, if I stay in London, Liverpool and Candy for some reason. Um, what did um, Manchester United and Sharp, of course, and on the front. Um, yeah, those are just these two belong together and it doesn't make it you know and even it fits so nicely with the overall scheme from, from the jersey then of course you have the navy accents it's white with navy this is a great color com com combination but in addition you have this kind of steely um, blue here which kind of makes a nice accent i like this tottenham crest with the lions and so on and then out there is Fazere. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur FC, the monogram here, uh, it looks great. Unfortunately, you can see I have worn it while wearing, uh, we still was were living with cats. So yeah, there are a few pools out there. It is non, no name on the back and yeah, we have the Adidas stripes. I don't, didn't get the Premier League patch. I didn't have it back then and I was so uh, down. Arsenal, Chelsea, you can get it. No, you cannot get it at Tottenham. Tottenham was not that... I mean, Tottenham is one of the big clubs in England, but back then they were not as great. I also like here uh, this lining on the inside. It's just a great jersey. Uh, even on the sides here, you know, it goes down. I really, really like this one. And then a year later they got, was it Kappa? And the jersey didn't look as great anymore. I was there, I got... What was it Diodora? Capo Diodora. I know they had new Italian signing and they said it was the kit deal. This was the last Adidas shirt that uh, Tottenham wore. I was actually sad about that because I thought this one looked really great. Even the previous two versions, the one that Klinsmann was wearing, for instance, they were great jerseys. Maybe the one thing that looks a little bit odd is in the back side here. That's, yeah, the sliver up here and it's the same thing on the front. But overall, I love this jersey. It's just, I'm not that big of a Tottenham fan, but this is one of the nicest time. And I, I guess I got to pull it out a little bit more often now that I, you know, Tottenham is actually better. And, you know, I got over, <laughs> I have an England shirt. I'm very happy about this one now. You would have asked me just four years, 10 years ago, never would I have gotten an English shirt. But yeah, uh, I'm actually embracing my <laughs> fondness of England. Thank you for inventing this game. Thank you for having great jerseys now and then. I mean, Tottenham jerseys are among the nicest ones in the Premier League. I gotta say, there's just something about the white and the navy that is just extraordinary. And yeah, thank you England for also producing great rock music, being the inventors of heavy metal. Some of my most favorite bands in all of England. Uh, out of England, so... I finally got over that and I can, now that in, even the England national team is looking for innovations and not st staying stuck, I actually can embrace it more. Again, great jersey, one of my all-time favorites.
let me know if you like this jersey uh whether the other jerseys that you like better of tottenham and yeah whether you have also something like me that you had to get over something like that if you like this video i know i was blab blabbing a lot about here give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like that and i will talk to you soon if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you've already done so i would like to thank you for your support it is very much appreciated also check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video thank you for watching and until next time